Hello and welcome back to Madden 22 for your Houston Oilers relocation franchise. How you doing everybody? Eric MN Twins 20 here. We are on the second episode of this new relocation franchise. Before we get into the game, get into today's episode, I wanted to take a couple of things take a couple minutes to explain a few things. Uh, in the last episode, we did the prelude, making the big announcement that Daniel Snyder is out, Mark Cuban purchased a team, and is relocating the franchise to Houston, Texas to reform the Houston Oilers and go in direct competition with division rival Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys, who uh, incidentally went 13-4 and this season. Uh, I when I was making the Houston Oilers announcement, I forgot to announce who my general manager was because I was hyping him up. He's a former former NFL player, a well liked one, and I just totally went left field and forgot to announce the guy. Um, and I mentioned how if I had announced him beforehand, it would be a hint at where we were re relocating. So I forgot to do that. The general manager of this team for Mark Cuban. Um, basically in charge of player development, signing players, what have you, is Warren Moon. I figured with the team going back to Houston, have somebody familiar with Houston and the Oilers franchise, and Warren Moon is the most logic choice. So Warren Moon is my general manager. Mark Cuban's the owner. We are at the end of the 2021 season. We went 7-10. and 10. We are in third place in the division. Obviously, we did not make the playoffs. We're going to check how everybody did on the team. We have $84 million to spend. I did not sign any free agents or um, expiring contracts. So we're going to do that all in the offseason. We're going to take a look at final division standings league-wide. In a minute, I'm going to upgrade these players that we do have because we're going to have some upgrades. Looks like we got quite a few. And I apologize that this seems to be running slow. It is running slow today. I don't know why. But um, basically, this ep episode, we're going to do the last business as the Washington football team. And then when we start the next season, uh, we'll be moved to Houston. We're going to start the off offseason. Uh, potential new coaches, if I decide to get some. Uh, free agents, our own signings of, free, of, uh, rest of um, our own free agents pending. And then, of course, the draft we're going to do. But let's take a look at staff moves first, just in case there happens to be an opening that we might want to go after somebody. So it looks like the Chargers fired the defensive coordinator, Frank Rank. Looks like the Colts fired their entire coaching staff. Frank Reich is out. Brian Flores is out in Miami. So the Miami Dolphins have fired their coaching staff. Kyle Shanahan has been fired from... San Francisco, uh, the Giants have fired their coach. Offense coordinator in Detroit is gone. The Ravens have fired, uh, looks like, their coordinators, but Harbaugh still in place. Mike Tomlin of the Steelers, after 10, 13 years, is gone. He's out. Uh... Cliff Kingsbury is out as the Cardinals. So there are some movement. I was kind of hoping and praying to see maybe Kevin Stefanski in there because I do like Stefanski. Um, I thought about he'd be a, good pit, be a good fit. But Tomlin, I like Tomlin. I think he'd be a, a great coach. But I think we might be sticking with Ron Rivera. I haven't decided yet. I want to see what his staff looks like as far as scheme and all that. We might just make a move. He runs a vertical power run, a base 4-3. Um, you know what? We're going to be moving. We're going to be moving to this new city. Let's just go ahead and get a whole new coaching staff. I want a new coaching staff. We're moving to Washington. Let's go hire a new coach. Let's go see what we can get. Because uh, that's who I want. I think that makes sense. Just new coaching staff in place and go from there. So we have Frank Reich, who was in Tampa Bay. 
or excuse me, he was in um, Indianapolis, and before that he was with the Eagles, so he knows about the Eagles. His offensive schemes West Coast spread, and he runs a Tampa 2. Brian Flores runs a multiple zone run. He's a 3-4. Kyle Shanahan, West Coast zone. He runs a 4-3. He would be a good choice. He used to be with Washington. Uh, Tomlin runs a base four, a, a base three four, and then Ron Rivera runs a base four three. Vertical power run. So I think I am going to go. I think because Shanahan knows the system. I like Tomlin. But he runs a, a fourth. Uh, he runs a base three four. But I have the talent to run a four three. I believe. I kind of want to go. I, I want to see what we got. We maybe maybe we'll go to a three four. But we'll see what we got as far as a roster first for the uh, defense, and then we'll go there. Defense is actually really good. All right, so looking at the offense, I'm not seeing anybody as far as dev changes. Looks like everybody stayed pretty much where they are. Uh, Fitz Magic still average. McLaren's a superstar, so that's nice to see. Defensively, actually, you know what? I think we could afford to go. To, well, we have... Hold on a second, because we do have Deron Payne. He's 25, and he's at 89. Maybe we should stay with a 4-3. Although, we could use some linebacker help. I could easily move one of these guys up there to help out. Because this guy is 27, he's a 90. Yeah, he's, he's going to stick at DT. He'd be good. Then we have Chase Young. He's 23, 60. Yeah, I think I could see us. We could get away with a 3-4 because we could keep Chase Allen in the middle and keep um, Montez Sweat, who's 25, and he's 260. So I could keep him there. We'd have a nice, decent 3-4 line, and then we can move Payne up to here, like on the outside edge at left guard, or left outside linebacker. Then we'll just have to get better in the up there. We got Davis, who is a one-year player, so he's only going to get better, and he's already a star. So we could make some moves there. So I think that might actually be okay. Um, let me see Payne's stats. How do he do stat-wise this year? Because if he's the real deal, then I'm going to put him up there he's only he's four years experience so in 2021 he had 34 solo tackles 17 assists 51 total 17 tackles for losses four sacks no picks but that's pretty good it looks like he's definitely um he definitely uh he like he's a good tackler so maybe that'd be good move him up there so i think we're gonna go i think we could possibly go to a 3-4 defense so maybe i will go with mike tomlin i do like tomlin um i think he'd be a great hire and i think that'd be a nice little fit moving into houston so yeah we're gonna go with tomlin i think i'd like him more than i would with um mr uh Kyle Shanahan, even though Shanahan runs, well, I could run a vertical power. No, I want to run the ball because we don't have very good, well, we do have good receivers, but we don't have a good, um, we don't have a good quarterback, but that could change. So I think, wait a minute, why, why is he going to coaching tree? I don't want that. I want to hire. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Flores is a 30. Yeah, I want to hire Mike Tomlin. Okay, so we just hired Mike Tomlin. Now we're going to hire an offensive coordinator. OC. 
So let's see what we can find here. Vertical, vertical zone run. Now I need somebody that can let's just start over here and work our way. Roger Hughes, not interested. This is a guy that was with Tomlin. Uh, Aguilar ran in Detroit. Lead the charge, sixth, sixth lineman. Uh, I don't think so. Zerdic, Zer ah, for, this one's got some talent here. Crossing guarded off the line. Quarterback's best friend. I like that. Jay Gordon. Six lineman control line. That's a 4 3. Um, what was the Tomlin one? Base 3 4. I kind of like this guy here. I think he, Dan Hampton. Uh, yeah, I think that would work. So we're going to hire Dan Hampton. And then for the defensive coordinator. Oops. Yeah, we're going to hire a defensive coordinator. And we're going to basically do the same three, same f three, four, which was uh, Mike Tomlin was a base three, four. Let's see here. Patrick Bailey. Um, yeah, Baltimore's, yeah, we'll hire, we'll hire Patrick Bailey. So we got a new coaching staff in place headed by Mike Tomlin, Dan Hampton. I believe he's a former bear. That name sounds familiar. And then Patrick Bailey. And we'll use the staff points. I'll do that off camera. I want to get into the nitty gritty of the, uh, of the, uh, off season here so let's uh, go to check out oh before we do that let's go to the uh, go to the standings see where everybody finished because depending on who finished where we might be getting some uh, draft draft capital with our picks that we got in trades we did so uh, starting the AFC North uh, the Browns Took the top 13-4, so that explains why Ste Kevin Stefanski is not available, which is fine. Uh, Bengals finished second, 11-6. And the Ravens and the Steelers. I can, oh, so that's why uh, Tomlin got fired. 3-14 three and, three and 14 with the number one overall pick. Holy crap. Interesting. The Houston Texans. Huh, they're 10-7. That's because Deshaun Watson's still in the game. Uh, if they didn't have Watson starting, he would not. They would not be that good. Uh, Jaguars at nine and eight. I'm surprised about that. Colts at the bottom at five and twelve. Of course, the Titans were in third in the East, fourteen and three for the Patriots. That's kind of surprising. I don't think they're going to be that good this year, to be honest. Bills are nine and eight. Jets six and eleven. Dolphins five and twelve. That's kind of surprising. Chiefs number one in the AFC West with the Broncos behind them and the Raiders. Chargers six and eleven. NFC North Packers lead 12 and 5. Bears are in second. Vikings in third at 6 and 11. And Detroit Lions are the 4 and 13. They have the second worst record in the NFC. That is good because we got that draft pick from them, the first rounder. So I believe we're going to be sitting second in the draft. That's great because we're going to need our quarterback of the future. In the AFC South, Carolina. With Sam Darnold at 12 and 5, Bucks at 9 and 8 with Tom Brady, Falcons at 8 and 9, and then the Saints at 6 and 11. In the East, our division, Cowboys on top. They're the second seed. Eagles 10 and 7. I don't think that's going to actually happen. We're in third. Giants bringing up the rear. So in the West, Rams on top, 12 and 5 with Matt Stafford, and then you got the. Seahawks at 10 and 7, and then two 5 and 12 teams out west. So that's what the NFC, or that's what the uh, NFL standings look like for each team. 
Well, let's go to stats and awards. We'll see how our guys did real quick. Fitzmagic threw for 4,100. 30 and 13, not bad. Rushing. Gibson hit over just over 1,000. Not bad. Could be better. Receiving. Um, McLaren. McLaurin and Humphreys both under a thousand yards and then it's a drop off after that defensively Land Landon Collins led the way with tackles sacks wise who is the sack daddy Jonathan Allen at 11 sweat with eight young with eight not bad interceptions Holcomb with three McCain with two, Bostic with one. That's not good. We got to do a better job with interceptions. So we definitely need to upgrade the secondary. So I'm not expecting any Washington Redskins in the award, so I'm not going to even bother. Like I said, let's just get to it. Get to this offseason and let's get this team officially moved to um, Houston, Texas and start rebuilding the Oilers and bringing them back to fruition. This episode's going to all be about the offseason heading into the 2022 season and then we're going to um, and next episode we'll do the first preseason game back in back in Houston and then get things rolling. Let's go to offseason. Yep. And then we're going to get going. So Mark Cuban is starting to get things all packed up and ready to go. The new stadium is going to be completed before training camp. Beautiful new stadium outdoors. He's got the naming rights reacquired from the Tennessee Titans organization who originally had them when they moved from Houston to Tennessee. And uh, the league has signed off on it. Jerry Jones is not happy about it. And there it is, the oil rig. We're back in business, baby. And uh, we're ready. We're in direct competition with Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys. So looking at the Super Bowl, a 2021 season recap, Los Angeles went against Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals and... Matthew Stafford brings a ring to Los Angeles. Two-time Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams. Jalen Ramsey was the MVP. And there you see on the right um, some of the uh, awards. Zeke was MVP. Patriots. Uh, Bill Belichick was the coach of the year. Ezekiel Elliott was offensive player of the year. Don Earl, Don, uh, Aaron Donald, defensive player of the year. Justin Fields, rookie of the year. And then, of course, defensive rookie, Karamua, Karmua, can't say his name, I'm sorry, is Defensive Player of the Year. So, uh, let's go to the next week, and we're going to start working on free agency and our own players. Now that everything is advanced and we're now in Houston... Okay, we got to look at retirements. So Deshaun Jackson retires after winning the Super Bowl, as does Andrew Whitmore. Case Keenum retired. All right, any... Oh, excuse me, I'm used to the Vikings. <laughs> no Vikings, that's good. No Oilers. Let's go back to the NFL. I want to see who's... Any big names, other big names. Jason Peters, Antonio Brown retires, Jason Kelsey, Colquitt, Big Ben is retired, Richie Incognito, AG Green, and uh, Patrick Peterson, oh, Patrick Robertson, excuse me, Robinson, Joe Webb, Larry Fitzgerald, Adrian Peterson, 
LaShawn McCoy, Brian Hoyer, Drew Stanton, Cameron Wake. I don't see Colin Kaepernick. I I moved him, I edited him to a, a punter in the hopes the game would get rid of him, but I don't see him. Let's take a look at who we need to resign, who we're going to keep, who we're going to get rid of. Jonathan Allen, absolutely. We have 90 million to play with. He's going to be here. He wants a three year deal. I'm going to make it a five. And I'm going to give him some money. And he's back. That's good. Scherf, he's 30. He wants a two year deal. He wants to play for a new team. Well, guess what? You're probably going to get... You're probably going to get... Uh, tagged. Leno Jr. He wants to go, too. Okay. Logan Thomas. He's a... He is a tight end... He wants to test free agency. Bobby McCann. I should have probably done these during the season, but I just thought maybe if I just stick to the... Oh, geez. Nobody wants to come back. This is going to be a rough rebuild. If nobody wants to sign with us, we're in trouble. Okay, we got one back two guys now cornerback yes we're gonna need help at least for depth I'm gonna just offer him what he wants the one year nope he's gone Fitz magic not even gonna pro bother uh, Castro he's probably gonna want out after one year even though he would be helpful I don't see him signing yeah we're losing a lot of these guys this is unfortunate. We're going to have a lot of holes to fill, but you know what? That's okay. We're basically, I think we're going to be a, pretty much an expansion team. Um, Kyle Allen, he'd be a decent backup to have. Okay, we got Kyle Allen back. That's good. You know what? I'm just gonna let everybody walk. Wolf, we're gonna we're gonna get some new pieces. We got some money to spend. Free agency. Let's just yeah, we'll just let them all walk. Um, hold on a second. I want to go back. I do want to keep Scherf though. I don't want to lose too many of my offensive guys. So I'm going to franchise him. One year, 18 million. Yeah, for one year. So he's back. Everybody else can take a hike. We still got money to play with. We are sitting at 51 million. So we got plenty of money. So I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead into free agency. See what we can find. Oh, I forgot to check the... Um, Draft picks, see what, what we're sitting at for the draft. Hang on a second before we even go into free agency. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we didn't get the number one pick from the Lions, or number two in this case. So we have number 12, we have number one, uh, we have number 22, and then we have 34 and 40. Okay, so if we need. We need to move up if we're going to take that quarterback. And I think we're going to. Because we're going to... Unless there's a free, unless there's one in free agency. But I, I highly doubt that there's going to be somebody that good. But we'll, you never know. We'll see. Devontae Adams. Oh, absolutely. He'd be good. He's 29. But we have two really good ones. But, you know, it's Devontae Adams. Vaughn Miller. 
he would be good. Schwartz has offers. Jackson has offers. Calais Campbell. Clowney. Harry the Hitman, the Vikings let him go? Are they crazy? I am damn real putting in an offer for Harry the Hitman. Hell yeah, I'll give him a two-year deal. That's an immediate upgrade. Vander Esch, absolutely. Why is Dallas giving up on him? I know these guys we had in the Vikings franchise rebuild, but it's... Fr oh, crap. Raiders. Shit. Um, does he want a six-year deal? He's probably going to turn us down. But I'm going to offer him six years. Nope, they don't. Okay, he doesn't want a six-year deal. Let's go higher. I want him because he knows Dallas, and I think he would love the fact. He would love to play da against Dallas. So we gave him a little extra money. All right, let's see. Quarterbacks. Cam Newton, Fitzmagic. So there are no quarterbacks better than a 75. So we're going to pass on that. Running back, we have Gibson. We're good. Patrick Richard is an 82. Compared to the guy we have, he's better. I'll give him, a, I'll give him an offer. Nobody's giving him an offer yet, so we'll put in on a put in a good word for him. Devontae, though, that'd be a good signing. John Brown, he's 32. Demarcus Robinson, he'd be a decent he'd be a decent pickup. He's an 80. T. Y. Hilton, he's 32. See, that's these are the signings so the Washington franchise used to do. Guys that are over the hill aging. I know I I say that, and I just went for Harrison Smith. That's a difference, though. Harrison Smith. Is still good. Yes, he's regressing, but he's still good at what he does. Uh, T.Y. Hilton, his better days are behind him. That's why I didn't sign Larry Fitzgerald, because I knew Larry Fitz was going to retire this year. Same with Adrian Peterson. We don't need him. Um, we have a punter. We don't need him. We do need a kicker. We have none. Um, I'll take Young Ho Kim. Oku, excuse me. It's a two-year deal. We'll take a shot of him. Um, do we dare go after? We gotta. We gotta get. We gotta go get him. It's twenty nine. He's twenty nine. Let's bump it up. It'll. It's gonna cost us a pretty penny. He's probably gonna reject. I don't even have salary cap space. Are you kidding me? Wow. I don't even have salary cap to go get him. That sucks. How do I not have salary cap space? Huh. Well, I guess we're not going to get Devonta Adams. We can't afford him. That's fine. We got receivers. But I definitely want Van Der Esch. We need to improve that defense because I think... If I look at the defense, I think we're now at 3-4 because of Tomlin being signed. So I think the scheme has changed. Let's check. Yeah, we're at 4-3. Or we're at 3-4 now. The defensive line is exactly the way I hoped for. So that's good. So we get Van Der Esch in there. That's going to be nice. Uh, Davis Hill eventually get better. He's a star. We got, two st we got three stars and uh, average. And you put Vander Esch right in there. These guys are going to get better. I think we'll be okay. Um, you're going to put Harrison Smith in there. Landon Collins will most likely move to free safety, or we could do the other. We could put Harrison Smith over there. So the defense, I think, yes, this is going to be good. And then what we'll do is we'll end up trading up in the draft to get that quarterback. Uh, probably Sam Howell is the guy we're going to go after if we can trade up to get him. I want to see what his stats look like after the combine. And all three sign. We got the fullback. We got Ku. We got Harry the Hitman. That's a good signing. So this looks 
promising. So defense definitely upgraded. Uh, Vandrash hasn't signed yet, so I need to go check him out. All right, so we got... All right, so Bates, he's only 24. I'm going to just move him right back to... I think I'm going to... I think he was a... Yeah, we only had three... Or was he a tight end? I don't remember. Um, I'm going to move him... Yeah, he was a tight end. So I'm going to move him to f half back. Let's give him a different number here. Because then we don't have to worry about a half back. Oh, he's a 54. Ooh, that might not be good. We may have to move him back. Oh, I don't have any tight ends? Oh, my God. We have no tight ends. Oh, shit. That's not good. Got none. Okay, I'm going to move him back to tight end. Yeah, that's where he was. He wasn't a fit. He was not that low ranked. I remember now. He was definitely a... He was a low ranked tight end, and then I moved him. So we're going to move him back to tight end. I'll keep the number on him. That's a nice number. And then let's go... Yeah, there we go. 65. That's more like it. We definitely need to get some tight ends, though. But, um... Alright. Uh, back to defense. We got Harry the Hitman. We got Collins. I'm going to move Collins to the left side. Make him a free safety. We'll leave Harry there. He's an 84. And then we're going to go back in free agency. We're going to check out uh, Vandriash. See if we have to bump his numbers up. And then, uh... We'll uh, look for a tight end, too. We might have to draft one. Okay, so Landon's now over there, 78. That's fine. Free safety, and the safety positions are better. Oh, we just need to go. We need to go check on Vander Esch because I'm worried somebody's going to make him a He's going to harpoon us. Oh, Carolina bastards. Everybody's bumping up their offer. I got 20 million in cap space, so I can do this. I want him, and I want him bad. I'll give me 9 million signing bonus. There you go. 16.5. See if that does it. Oh, yeah. That should do it. Okay, we need tight end. Maybe somebody interesting. Rob Gronkowski's there. I like Ertz. I do like Zach Ertz. He does not have a, a contract. I know he's only average, normal dev, but I think he's still got some left in the tank. So, And he can stick it to the Eagles every week. So I think we'll sign Zach. We got another guy. We got 65 overall. Is Rudolph available? No, he'd be ranked higher. Thought about Rudolph, but I think we'll be okay. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to find somebody that's a scheme fit. Our 72, Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham would be an interesting pick, but he's 35 years old. Here we go. Ian Thomas, Jake Butt. Insert your own jokes there. I need a blocking tight end. Uh, we'll stick with... We'll go with Ertz. We'll stick with Ertz. But I need Van Der Esch. Because we're at 3-4 now. And I need some help there. So let's go to the next week. We need to still scout some more players. Because we got the draft coming up. We got him. Van Der Esch is now a Houston Oiler. And we got Zach Ertz. Sweet. This team is looking much better. The defense, at least, is looking good. Offense needs a lot of help, though. We are really hurting on offense, especially that line. We only have Flowers, Rulier, and Scherf. Scherf's only here for one more year unless we can lock him up long term. Cosme, he's a second-year player now, and he's not ranked very well. We need some help big time. But the offense with the receivers we have, running backs were good. Might have to make a move for somebody else. We got Richard at fullback. We need to get a quarterback. Offense 
it's a work in progress. But dude, look at this defense. Oh my god. Vander Ash. Oh, they put him over here. Uh, I don't like I don't like that. I want him on the other. S oh, he's a s okay. So he's a s he is a right side linebacker. All right, maybe I will make Davis. I'll move him to the left side, and then we'll go from there. But the defense looking a lot better. Okay, let's check that out. Jamming Davis, see if that helps. Let's go. Now let me move Vander Esch over again. Make up your damn minds. No, no, no. We're not doing that. I'm going to fix it, but yeah. See, I move Vander... I move Davis position to left outside linebacker, and then they switch him. It's like, really? Whatever. It is what it is. Uh, we need another linebacker. Middle linebacker. But yeah, this defense looking damn good. Looking really good. I like it. Okay. I'm thinking we're going to go to the draft next. I want to check out college players. See what we're looking at here. Howell only scored a 5-5 five five in his combine. Wow. He actually might drop. But we need a quarterback. I know the Lions are going to take a quarterback, so it's probably going to be him, most likely. He, oh. That is not good. Spencer Radler. He actually looks better. A plus, A minus. Late first round talent. Wow. Interesting. I'm really surprised with some of these guys. USC quarterback, not very good. Kind of surprised at some of these guys. Owen Papo. He's a first round talent. Justin Ross, first round talent. Kenyon Green, second round talent. We might have to go get some of these linemen. Jalen Whitmer, ooh, a first round talent there. For a tight end, that might be a good pick, okay. So we got a decision to make here as far as the quarterback position. We either gotta go we're going to have to trade up or trust that the draft falls into our lap, works out, or we need to trade up or we have to trade for quarterback. I might be, I might have to trade for a quarterback if I can't get a one of the top two quarterbacks because I know for a fact Detroit's going to be looking for a, a, a quarterback. The Steelers are now on the clock. Pittsburgh for sure is going to trade for a quarterback. Dolphins, I don't think they will. Cardinals won't. Giants definitely will. So we need to we need to trade up. That's that's going to be hard, but Oh man, this is bad. We're in a bad spot here. We need to trade. I I could try the Steelers, but I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna give it to us. They might trade. If I can give them two first and a second for that one. I don't think they're gonna do it though, because they're gonna want a quarterback. All right now, looks like they did it. Oh my god. So the Steelers give us the draft pick. We get the number one overall. They get 12 and they get a second rounder. So we are on the clock. We have jumped everybody. And we're on the verge of, tr of drafting a quarterback. 
I did not expect them to. I honestly thought they would not take a quarter. Uh, they wouldn't take the pick. But, so it's between Sam Howell and Spencer Rattler. Personally, they're both strong armed. 10th, 7th, 5th, 11th, 9th, and 8th. Throw power is A+. Plus. Short accuracy is an A. Throw mid is A-. minus. But Rattler, has he did better in the combine. And he was in the top 3 and 3 cone and 20 shuttle. Which makes him, he's probably, he's a, he ran a 4-6. So he's probably going to work in as a. He's probably going to work in as a um, scrambling quarterback. I'm going to take Spencer because he's out of Oklahoma. This would be like a, a homecoming for him to go to Houston. We're going to take Spencer over um, Sam Howell. The Lions on the clock now. What direction will they go? Hidden talent 74 says I reach. He should. He was ranked 20th. I think it's a great pick though. He's a scheme fit, 74 overall field general. He's a 72 overall for scrambling. He's an improviser. I think it's a good pick for us. We need a quarterback. I think the Lions are going to take uh, Sam Howell here. It's pretty obvious they need a quarterback because Jared Goff is not the pick. Now the Dolphins they took the quarterback. I Like I knew they would. So Sam Howell... 75 overall. He was only one point higher than my guy, so I think I'd made the right move. I think we're going to be okay. We'll check. See what the, the Lions did. The Cardinals take defensive end. And the Giants now on the clock. Who do they have their eye on? They took a corner. So they did not go. Or no, the Cardinals took a corner. The Eagles are now Giants the took clock. a right tackle. Okay. Eagles. Free. They got two picks in a row. Oh, interesting. How did the Eagles get lucky with two picks? I wouldn't mind Nick Bonito. I think he would be good. I have 22nd pick. And a seven. Would the Eagles trade? I doubt it because we're in division rivals. I know the Eagles like their. I know the Eagles like their linebackers. I know it's a division trade. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna try. I want that linebacker. I know this is not realistic, but I want that linebacker in a bad way. I'll give him a first. Do I have a next year first? I do. I'll give him a first next year. They're talking. They're thinking about it. Okay, so that one would definitely... I don't want to give him too much this year. So I need... I'll give him a four this year. And I'll give him a third next year. But I want a fourth this year. Let's see if they do that. No, they won't do that. They're not even talking to me now. They want something higher. All right. If I just offer them, if you just swap first rounders this year. Close. All right, give him a four next year. It's close. Do I have seven? Give him a seven. See if they take that. Nope, they just won't. They need more. Sounds like, uh, oh, I don't want to. Give them all my picks for next year. That would be bad. I'm going to have to pass. I can't. They're getting two. Let's see what they do. Maybe they won't take the linebacker. Um, but knowing my luck, 
they're gonna take that linebacker. So let's just skip ahead. All right, now on the clock, the Chargers. Okay, we got lucky. They didn't take the. All right, Chargers. What do you want? I want that pick. I don't think they need a linebacker either. Doesn't say they do, but stranger things have happened. Give him a five. One and a five. Will that do it? Nope. I want that. I want that higher pick. I want that linebacker. A little more. Damn. They just... Okay. I give him a one and a two. But I need... I need more back. So I want a three and a five. I think that's more than fair. <sighs> okay, one and three. Really? God, you guys are stingy. Okay, I'll give you one of my sevens. It's getting there, but not good enough. So I need something higher. A four next year. Probably not. Well, getting there. I really want this guy. I really, 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 really want him. Dude, really? Okay. All right. I'm serious about next year. or I'm serious about this year. So I'll give him two first-round picks. I want your first, your second. No, I want your first, and I want your second. Oh, they don't have a second. All right, I want your two thirds. Cause I'm, I want compensation. Oh, so close. Okay, this is gonna go through. All right, a first, a third, and a fourth. So I'm basically moving up, and I'm getting some picks here. Come on. Damn it. Okay, I can give them something. Give them the. Something tells me they're gonna go. They're gonna go with the seven. If they don't, I'll go to the six. We got it. Okay. We sold. We gave them our pick for this round, twenty second, a first next year, and a seventh rounder this year. We get the eighth pick. We get their second round pick. They got two. Uh, excuse me. We got the third round pick and their fourth round pick. So we have gotten cool. So we have gained more picks and we moved up. Now I can take that guy I want. Thank the Lord. I am interested to see how the Vikings pick here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna watch their pick here. But we're not taking a quarterback. We're taking Nick Bonito. So there we go. We have a set we have this pick. We have a second rounder. We have a third, two fours, a five, six, and seven. So we basically have a pick in every round now. So we're back to business here this year. But I like this Nick Bonito. I could go to corner, though. How are we at corner? We are hurting. But I think I like this guy a lot. I just, oof. Now I think about it. Oof. Uh, hang on a second. Let's take a look at this. Oof. This guy looks good too. Now I'm gonna go. I want. I want the linebacker. Let's take the linebacker. All right. Was it a good up, pick? The Jets are on the clock. Hidden talent 74 says I reached. I picked him at eight. I, he's ranked 10. I think it was a good pick. It's a hidden dev. I'm okay with it. Let's see who did the Jets pick. The Saints are now on the receiver. Clock. The Aints. All right, it's now the Vikings' turn. They're up. They took a corner. Vikings. Is Zimmer still there? He'll probably take a corner. All right, it's the. He Steelers did. Ha. Now Knew it. Called it. Clemson. All right, the Steelers with our original draft pick. Okay, the Ravens. They take a receiver. Okay. 
All right, let's go ahead and go to our next pick. The Oilers are now on the clock. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh, Steelers took a quarterback. Interesting. Kind of figured that was going to happen because of um, Big Ben's retirement. So we have left and we don't need and Nolan Smith's there chilling. Don't need a right outside linebacker because we just got Vander Esch. And we got Bonito. Bonnet, Bonito? Bonito? So we got a quarterback. I do need guard help. Let's go ahead and take him. 3-6. 6-3. 316. Oh my god, look at that. Broad jump, cone, shuttle. Um, agile. I'll take a shot on him. The 49ers now on the clock. 70 hidden. Says I reached. I think we'll be okay. Any help we can get for the O-line is going to be a bonus, so. We're going to go ahead and skim ahead. The Oilers are now on the clock. Uh, yes. Safety. Definitely. Because uh, Harry the Hitman is going to retire eventually, so we're going to need some backup. That running back looks good. Uh, that running back looks good, too. Actually, we probably could use a running back. I will take him. I'm going to take a chance. And now we turn to the Jets. It's their good pick. 72. He's normal dev. He's a power back. 71. He's a scheme fit there. 72 elusive, 60 receiving. So, I mean, it's a normal dev, but it's something. Probably could have done better. The Oilers are now on the clock. Okay. What do we got here? Uh, yes, we need a lineman. Okay, next up. Reached again. On the clock. Not good. All right, on the clock now, the Saints. The Oilers are now on the Vikings clock. signed a guard, Zach Carney. Interesting. Okay, who do we got here? Don't really need a, any more linebackers. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, I think we're going to trade this pick. I'm not liking what's here. I'm going to trade it away. Get some draft capital for next year. If we can get a third, that would be helpful. Nope. Okay, so Steelers have a four and a six next year. Lions are offering a four and a six, a seventh this year. Uh, I'll take the Steelers. I think they're going to be bad again. Okay, here we go now. It okay, so we're going to draft trade. capital for next year. Okay, let's advance the next user pick. The Oilers are now on the clock. Oh man, that guy keeps dropping. There's a reason why he's dropping. A lot of receivers. This is a receiver deep draft. There's another right tackle down there. But I don't know if I should take him or not. I'm almost wanting to trade it again. But this guy keeps dropping. I mean, he's a he's a scheme fit, but I just, I don't know. I'm worried. Nah, take him. Nope, I, I fucking did it. Damn it. 64 and hidden. Or uh, normal. Shit. 
I thought maybe he'd be good. There was, a, but there was obviously a reason why he was dropping. I should have just, I should have traded the pick. Damn. The Oilers are now on the clock. Vikings took a right in. All these damn receivers. I don't think we need a receiver. I don't know. We don't need a receiver. Even though I tried to get Devonta Adams. No, we're trading this pick. I'll get capital next year. I'm gonna help with the Vikes. Here you go. Well, I guess they won't be turning in a card here. They have traded the pick away. Trader Rick getting his draft picks. See who he took. All right, the Chiefs are now on the clock. Cornerback, uh, cornerback Keon Spillman out of Minnesota. Interesting. Zimmer's getting his defensive guys. The Oilers are now on the clock. If it's another batch of receivers, I think I'm going to scream. It is, of course. Right tackle. Okay. Um, actually, this guy fits our scheme better. Or not fits our scheme, but he's ranked better. On the Damn. Down, the Ravens. 59, but he's hidden dev. Holy shit. <laughs> this was a bust, but it's a hidden dev, so he'll be a star or better. That makes no flipping sense. Whatever. I don't get that. Don't get it. We have no more picks remaining, so we're going to go ahead and end the draft. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was a rough draft. We got the quarterback of the future. We got our linebacker. We have six million in cap space. Let's take a look. Um, I want to see NFL, how they ranked. I want to see what how. He's a hidden talent. He's 75. Did I make a mistake passing on him? He's a star. Okay. I can handle that because mine's going to be star or better. So I'm curious to see what he is, but I think I'm going to wait on him. Bonito. Um, yeah, I think we're going to be fine. I think we'll be okay. So I think we're going to be just about done here. Let's go to advance the week. And then I think we're going to start free agency in the next episode. And we are. We're going to be playing <laughs> Houston against Houston. Awesome. And it's going to be in our place. So we'll be taking on our in-city counterparts, the Battle of Houston. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool.